booty base. Now, if you get a look around this place, you'll notice that there are some pretty goddamn amazing machines for growing your legs and building your booty. Oh, boom! But unfortunately, even my own members can't make it down to the booty base right now. And unfortunately, it's very likely that you might never be able to make it down to the booty base. And it's also very likely that your gym is closed right now and you don't have access to any of these amazing machines at your disposal. Well, aren't you just lucky that I have gone through and put this video together for you to be able to access the top 10 exercise machines that I have here at this gym for you to be able to make variations of them to add in to your home workouts. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Our first exercise machine on the list is our newest machine down here at the Booty Base, which is gonna be giving everybody a nasty, delicious, juicy quad pump, and that is the Hack Squat. Now, I really, really love Hack Squats because it's a very knee-dominant movement, which, like I said, absolutely destroys the quads because it allows us to place a lot of constant tension and keeps us in a really stable and upright position. Now, it's pretty unlikely that you're gonna have a hack squat at home, so here's how you can replicate that movement with just a few little household objects. All right, all right, all right. Well, we have two variations of how we can replicate the hack squat at home. And the first variation, I have to give credit where credit's due, goes to Mr. Coach Eugene Teo. You can check him out right about here. But we also have a variation which requires less uh, less equipment as well. So, the first variation, what we're gonna be needing to do is grab something that we can loop a band around oosh, to anchor, and then we're gonna have something to elevate our heels as well. I'm using a weight plate, but you can use some books or whatever it is that you have at home just to elevate your heels and anchor that band. From here, we're gonna grab this ball and put it up against oosh, our back, like so. This is gonna allow us to be able to keep ourselves upright and drive into that position very, very similar to how we were on the hack squat. From here, if you have dumbbells handy, you can hold onto them for some extra weight and extra assistance. If not, trust me, body weight will cook you up with this as well. And then from here, driving up, oosh, and then back down. All the way up and back down. And the tension on this band increases all the way at the top of the rep. So the top portion is very, very challenging. If you want to, you can make things harder by adding an additional quarter at the bottom so we get a more constant flow of tension because down here, that band's not really giving me all that much. So if we add an additional quarter at the bottom of the wrap, oosh, then we get a nice consistent load the whole way through. Now, if you don't have access to all of that, what we can do instead is loop this band over like so, make sure it's nice and in the center of whatever is anchoring it down. Bang, bang. And then a little something on the back just to make sure that it is not gonna go flying away anywhere. Coming on down, now you may have seen me give these before and holy bajoli guacamole, they are fucking tough. Hands on, looping around, chest upright, shoulder blades back, and now up, uh, and down. And you get a very similar effect, but with less equipment. Uh, Required and because this band is now doubled up on, on, and underneath, whew, it's a lot of tension. If you can get three sets of 20 on that, then whew, holy bajoli, you're doing a good job. Exercise number two on the list is one of my favorite machines in this entire gym, and that's our 45 degree back extension. This machine right here is awesome to work in higher rep ranges and it absolutely hammers all through the hamstrings and the glutes in an awesome hip extension where we get a lot of activation. Now, you probably don't have a 45 degree back extension at home, but if you do have a friend, then you might be in luck. Oh, hey Jerry, thanks for helping me out. So, what we're gonna do to replicate this movement is Jerry's gonna be holding down my ankles and he's gonna be holding them down hard. This whole time it's been like, oh bro, am I hurting you? And I'm like, no, nah, it's okay. You need to tell them, push down hard, trust me, for whoever's pushing, it doesn't hurt, okay? The harder, the better, and the more stable you'll be. Come onto the edge of your couch, get a nice cushion on your hips for a little bit of extra padding if you want to, and then from here, I'm gonna push him up into Jerry. Yeah, let's give it, get into it, Jerry. Come on, man, harder you struggle than that, bro. There we go, and then replicate the move. Coming down, pushing into the bench with your hips, and then rounding over at the top. Push, squeeze, 
squeeze, open, squeeze, and these actually feel really, really good. Woo! Holy majority, guacamole. Let's keep moving on. Number three, we're coming back over on the burn of the quads with some leg extensions. Now, leg extensions are one of the best ways to get a crazy burn, a crazy pump, all through those quads because we're solely focusing on a knee extension and really, really targeting that isolated movement. I'm sure you probably don't have one of these bad boys lying around at home, but here's a variation you can try instead. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, don't worry, I'm not gonna make you twerk. Well, unless you want to. But if you have a couch, then you can make your own home body weight leg extension. What we're gonna be doing is coming down, hands on the ground, legs up on the couch like so. Now from here, we wanna let our knees drive down to the ground and we apply tension into the couch by digging our toes down and extending our knees all the way up, squeezing those quads and then dropping back down. Up, squeeze and back down. So you wanna focus on driving this in that direction. Instead of lifting weight up uh, like that, we're pushing the couch down and away. Uh, if you wanna make it harder, you can try a single leg. Uh, uh, oh. Fuck, this is so hard. <laughs> or, whack a bang around the, the uh, back of the legs if you have one handy, and then, bang, you've got even more tension on that lockout. Oh, make sure you really focus on the squeeze at the top. Whew. All right, well, let's keep moving up. Boom. Number four is our banded hip thrusts. Now, a lot of gyms are gonna have band pegs available on either a squat rack or something to be able to anchor down the weight for doing banded hip thrust variations. But it's pretty likely that it's gonna be hard for you to find something to anchor that band down to at home. But wait a second, do you have fucking feet? Well, you do, I hope. So, let's try this bad boy out. Loop it through the feet like this, and we're gonna grab this sucker, pull it up, over the knees and onto the hips. And now, all of a sudden, we can anchor ourselves down and perform our banded hip thrusts at home. I also like taking a little bit of a wider stance with this one because it gets you even more tension on that band. Woo! Holy bajoli. Ooh! guaca fucking moly. Number five, we're coming in for another hip thrust variation and a lot of my Booty Base Babes' favorite machine in the gym with the Booty Builder. Now, the Booty Builder is a fantastic hip thrust machine because it allows us to load up with heavier weight and also get a double elevation and an extended range of motion. It leads to a really, really awesome contraction in the glutes and also allows us to get a really deep stretch. Now, again, you probably don't have a Booty Builder at home, but how about you try this? Instead, we can mimic that movement with a couch and a coffee table and still get that really big range of motion and be able to take those glutes for a big squeeze and a big stretch. But we're not gonna really be able to make that movement heavier by adding weight to our hips. So what we can do is change the movement to a single leg. Now it's gonna be far more challenging without us needing to actually add any additional weight. And if we wanna make it harder still, we can add an additional quarter at the top of the rep. Bang, bang. These single leg, one and a quarter, double elevated hip thrusts. Woo! We'll get those glutes burning up in a heartbeat. Woo, Sally! Oh, Sally, Sally girl! We're up to number six. Now, we've hit a lot of movements in hip extension, we've burned those quads, but now we want to be firing up the glutes in hip abduction. And that's where, again, one of the favorite machines of all the girls in the gym here comes with our seated machine abductions. Some people call this the slut machine, but hey, it's a great movement regardless. We're gonna sit down and spread our legs out and it gets a really good contraction all through the sides and the upper outer portion of the glutes. Some people like sitting upright with these, some people like sitting forward, and some people like leaning all the way forward like this. And you can experiment with all three. But you can also experiment with this. And you can replace it with this. Now it's a pretty simple replacement, but this band can take up a lot less space than a big old machine abduction. 
Now, ugh, everybody's different, but me personally, I actually feel these banded abductions a hell of a lot more than the machine ones. So, oh, get a band on those knees, oh, and you can still fire up those glutes like crazy. Oh. Now, I know I say this a lot, but number seven is another one of my favorite machines inside the gym. And this time we're coming through for a reverse hyper which is a really unique way for us to be able to really squeeze those glutes through another hip extension movement. And with this, we get to load it up nice and heavy by adding the anchor around our feet for us to pendulum those legs all the way up, really squeeze those glutes and allow momentum to bring us back up. Now again, I'm sure you probably don't have one of these bad boys lying around in the garage, but if you've got a couch, I've got an alternative for you. Now, if you have a couch that's tall enough, what you can do is you come on over, get a nice pillow on the hips for a little bit of extra support, lean forward, and now, all of a sudden, we have our own makeshift reverse height. You might not be able to keep the legs straight, so you can play around with the variations of your feet. Try, instead of swinging, to kick your legs back like so, or you can try a frog stance and come up and squeeze like this. I actually feel these a lot more. And, if you have a couch, where you can wedge a band underneath, well, we can't add weight, but we can definitely add more resistance when those glutes are at their peak contraction by coming down, chum chum, looping through, and now, oosh, uh, I'm really feeling that. Holy glutes. All right, all right, all right. I know I've said it about almost every single machine, but I'm deciding that this machine right here is my personal favorite machine inside the gym. And this machine is our belt squat machine. You can perform a lot of different exercises on here. However, it's designed to perform belt squats, which are a fantastic exercise for loading up really heavy because we don't need to actually hold on to the weight. It gets a lot of tension in those glutes, a lot of tension in those quads, and it's awesome for working in those higher rep ranges. Now, I'm pretty sure you don't have a big bulky bad boy like this lying around at home, but if you do have a barbell, then you can try this instead. Instead, you can try out this landline sumo squat variation instead. Now, we do have to hold on to the weight with this, oosh, but we don't have to load the spine. So we can get a lot of loading all through those legs, keep a lot of constant tension, just like we do on the belt squat, without having to worry about, oosh, getting a big barbell onto our back. Now, obviously, you are gonna need a barbell for this, you are gonna need a little bit of weight, but you don't need any fancy attachment like this. You can just wedge that barbell into the corner of a wall and bingo, bango, bongo, you're good to go. Number nine, we're coming in for another back extension variation. And this one is our GHD back extension. Now, don't get too excited, ladies. I'm not talking about hair straighteners, but I am talking about an awesome exercise to fire up those glutes and hamstrings. Again, very similar to our other exercise, we get a really big contraction of the glutes by squeezing at the top, and we get a really good stretch of those hamstrings at the bottom. Again, you probably don't have one of these at home, but do you have a coffee table? Well, I think you might. Get over here, Jared. Get over here, Jared, boy. Woo, we twerking. We twerking out and we working out because our variation is gonna be on a couch. And again, we're gonna need a partner to hold down and anchor our ankles for this movement. So, again, getting a uh, pillow to uh, get those hips nice and comfortable. Getting a partner to make sure they push down as hard as they possibly can. Jerry, you're not gonna hurt me, I promise. Right, right, right. Go as hard as you can, three, two, one. Ah! Nothing, doesn't hurt at all. Anyway, from here, we lower ourselves down, get our head as close to the ground as we can, and then push our hips down into the bench, and then squeeze those glutes by rounding over at the top. Down, up, and squeeze. Now, obviously, the range of motion is gonna depend on how tall your coffee table is. But a lot of the time, you probably won't be able to get a whoop. Keep holding, Jerry. You won't be able to get a full stretch all the way down. But that's not the worst thing in the world. All of the tension on the glutes is actually happening at the top of the rep here anyway. So what you can do is just do pulse reps and come up and down like this and that really burns. Or even go for a max time iso hold and just hold there and squeeze for as long as you can. And that feels goddamn fantastic. Woo! Anyway, we got one more to go. So Jerry, stop looking at my ass and get back behind the camera. Ah, get out of here, you! Get out of here, you! <laughs> 
And now to finish off and round out this top 10, along with rounding out your glutes, we're coming back over to the reverse hyper machine, but this time we're gonna be doing some abductions in a pendulum abduction. Now before, we were doing more of a hip extension movement by bringing the legs up and down. This time, we're hitting more of those upper outer glutes by getting a really big range of motion, squeezing at the top before returning all the way back down, getting the momentum of that pendulum, and then returning back up for a really big squeeze. This is personally one of my all-time favorite exercises to really target the upper outer glutes. But if you didn't have this reverse hyper at your home before, well, I'm sure it probably hasn't arrived at the time you've been watching this video. So, try this instead. And here we are back on the couch for some extended range side lying abductions. Now, all we're gonna be doing is laying down on the side, coming somewhere on the edge of the couch and getting the bottom leg out of the way, turning the toe in and down, and also trying to make sure that we're keeping our body in one nice straight line. If the leg comes forward a little bit, that's okay, but don't let it go all the way here. From there, get that extra range, so we mimic that extra stretch, just like we were on the pendulum, come all the way up, squeeze, and try to keep that toy pointed down at the end, so we target the glutes and not the hip flexors. From here, return back down and come, oosh, repeating that move. If you wanna make it harder, you can add an additional quarter at the top, you can also wrap a band around the legs, and also, I recommend putting a coffee table or whatever you want to, to be able to support that other leg, just so it's a little bit more comfortable and you're more stable, so you can focus on the movement, ugh, rather than your leg flapping around all over the place. This personally for me, ugh, if I could pick one favorite glute exercise, other than probably hip thrusts, woo, I feel these like crazy. So there you have it guys, no excuses. Whether you're at home and training, or whether your gym reopens and you don't have access to these kind of machines, well, now you have some variations that you can try if you never get the chance to make it down to the awesome place that we call the fucking booty base. So, you what everybody does on YouTube. Like, comment, motherfucking subscribe, and do all the other fucking turn the notification bell on, and all the fucking YouTube shit. I don't know, I'm new here guys, come on, give me a break. Ah, oh, shit! Anyway, see ya! <laughs>